Right, guys, what have we got here? Top five. Top five on the list of the NFL's top 100 players in 2022. Jonathan Taylor. He's a fan favorite. He's a channel favorite. He's a running back for the Colts. He's been in the league for two short years, and he's already top five on the list. Absolutely ridiculous. Need we say more? We will. Don't you worry, but let's get into the video. One, I'll have Aaron Rodgers. Jonathan Taylor. JT. Uh-uh. I got I want to I want to re redo that. I want to redo that. I want to go with Jonathan Taylor. Look, he took his high school statistics straight into college, took those statistics and that performance, that type of performance straight into the pros. And uh, I knew he would. I knew he would. They wouldn't put a running back number one. Probably not. It's probably be a quarterback, you know, but but y'all ask me my picks, so I'll pick Jonathan Taylor. Number one, So I hey. did a, a little thing with NFL film. I'm like, who are your MVP or number one uh, on the NFL oh, top 100? Yeah. Jonathan Taylor. Got to give respect to my running backs now. Come on now. Where he playing? JT is a complete monster. All the Colts are going to do is get the ball to number 28 because he was the best in the league this year. Jonathan Taylor had 1,811 rushing yards, over 550 yards more than the next closest player. This grown man activity, man. He even scored five touchdowns in one game. Lowers his shoulder and he yeah, I recall that. The goal line. Throw back screen to left. Is that a record? Taylor, he's at the 10, makes a man miss. He's at the 5, comes back. Ah, he wasn't meant to get there. He wasn't meant to get there, but he did, because he's JT. He's Jonathan Taylor. Not to be confused with Jonathan Thurston in the NRL of Australian Rugby League, but uh, certainly uh, you know, making a, a claim to be just as much of a legend. Either way, let's have a look at his stats. Nick Minnett. Born in 1999. How ridiculous is that? January 19th, 1999, age 23, 5 foot 10, 226 pounds. Wisconsin from 2017 to 19. Uh, where he, I'm pretty sure he scored 2,000 yards in a season. Might be even more. Let's have a look. Round number two, pick number 41 of the 2020 draft. Dropped down the, the ranks a wee bit, uh, a wee bit far, to be honest. He's, he's a bit like DK Metcalf the year prior, in my opinion. Just my opinion. He's been at the Colt. First team All-Pro selection in 2021. Pro Bowl selection in 2021. NFL rushing yards leader in 2021. NFL rushing touchdowns leader in 2021. The Burt Bell Award, what on earth is that? The award consists of a trophy presented to the NFL Player of the Year by the Maxwell Football Club. It was established in 1935 to promote safety in the game of American football. Okay. Look at these stats, guys. Oh, my God. Three... Oh, I remember this. Three years in Wisconsin. 17. He scored 1,977 yards. 13 touchdowns, 18, 2,194 yards in 16 touchdowns, 2019, just three short years ago, 2,003 yards and 21 touchdowns. That brings his total in 41 career games for Wisconsin to 6,174 yards, 926 attempts, that's averaging 6.7 yards per attempt. 50 rushing touchdowns, average yards per game, 152.1. And he had a few receptions there as well. Look, guys, the only player that comes to mind that has had that kind of career pre-NFL is Derrick Henry. So he came into the league running a 4.39 40-yard dash, which is absolutely ridiculous. 5'10", 226 pounds, pretty much, you know, I'm going to say perfect. Perfect as a running back. 36 inches on the vertical, 10 foot three on the broad jump, 17 reps on the bench. He's, look, I mean, look at that speed, 4.39, that's... You don't see that often, at all. He's played 32 career games in the NFL, 2,980 yards in, th in two seasons, 29 rushing touchdowns. He's had 76 receptions for 659 total career receiving yards and three receiving touchdowns. In 564 rushing attempts, he's fumbled the ball five times. That's less than one in 100. We don't need to worry about that. As we heard, he led the league in not only attempts with 332, 
but 1,811 rushing yards. And when he has, when he has, you know, 250, 300 attempts per year, you just think, you just think, you know, I guess only time will tell how how well his body will will hold up over the next few seasons. But he certainly thrust himself into the spotlight. He has thrust himself into the top five players in the league. And and uh, look. Five touchdowns in one game? Was that a record? Right, well, he's got one record at least. From weeks 4 to 11, he compiled 100-plus scrimmage yards and, le- and at least one rushing touchdown in eight consecutive games, which tied for the longest streak in NFL history. The only other NFL athlete to do that being Ladanian Tomlinson and Lydell Mitchell. I want to see these five rushing touchdowns in a game. In week 11 against the Bills, he had 204 total yards including 185 rushing yards on 32 attempts. That's about six per attempt. And five total touchdowns, four rushing, one receiving, and the Colts' 41-15 win. In doing so, he broke the Colts' franchise record for rushing touchdowns in a game, as well as total touchdowns in a game. So it's a franchise record, it's not an NFL record. Let's have a look at that. Ah, and the record six. Gail says of the Chicago Bears scored six touchdowns during a single game against the San Francisco 49ers at Chicago's Wrigley Field, tying the NFL record for most touchdowns in a single game. Now, I do believe Gail Sears was a was a, 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 a an Olympic athlete. Um, I may be wrong, but actually, come to think of it, Alvin Kamara did break the record. I watched that game. I watched it live. So him, Gail Sears, and Dub Jones of Cleveland... Uh, are the NFL record holders. Now, we do have an equal fourth between Jonathan Taylor, Jamal Charles, Clinton Portis. Clinton Portis, yep. I'm aware of that guy. Sean Alexander, James Stewart, Jerry Rice, Kellen Winslow, Paul Horning, Cookie Gilchrist. Uh, (laughs) That's an interesting name. Billy Cannon, Abner Hens, Jim Brown, and Bob Shaw. So he's up there with, with the absolute... Uh, best, to be honest. And uh, his photo is right there. Right there. Fourth equal on five. And then we go down to uh, 17th equal. And leading the list is none other than Leonard Fournette. And obviously there'd be a fair few more players with four in a game. In fact, there's probably, in fact, there's over 100. Over 100 guys have scored at least four touchdowns in a game but only 17 with five or more, and Jonathan Taylor is one. All right. Wentz, hands off to Jonathan Taylor, jumps off the pile. Let's just marvel at his play. Jonathan Taylor starts out left side, cuts up at the five, step hard his way, into the end zone. So he can cut off his left, off his right. He can do everything. Falls forward, has five of them. Number five. Bro, that's five. That's five, bro. He's got the complete package. He got the speed. They got great feet, and they got the power to run you over. He's one of three in the history of pro football to have eight consecutive games of at least one rushing touchdown and 100 scrimmage yards. Hey, boy, you different. Damn, I'm glad I don't got to play against your ass, boy. At certain points of the season, certain points of the game where we needed to play, it was Jonathan that would come through for the team. Colts in a first down if their season depends on it here. Can you run the ball when the entire world knows you're playing like a beast? Finally unleashed. Oh, mate. Look at that. He's got the speed. He's going to have the speed. Of course he is. Look, that might be JC Jackson, but. Making that cut against two. He don't run a 4 3 9 40 yard dash. It was all we needed to see. You have Devin McCoy and Dante Hightower blocked in the hole. Later. Jonathan Taylor just makes a miss. Like he wasn't even running full speed. Like I, I think like a lot of people don't really understand how fast he really is. And then he's looking at the sideline to see if he wanted to go down or not. And a guy's running full speed trying to catch him. And he's look like he's barely running. Hey, I saw you looking back. Yeah. I was looking on the sideline to see if they wanted me to go down. You know nobody. <laughs> you know? He got a lot of speed that oh, I did shit. not know of. He was playing the Patriots. They said he reached like 21, 22 miles an hour or something. I didn't know he was that fast. You know what time it is now, though? Absolutely. It's time. It's time. It's JT time now. Kind of work. Played against us. It was, I think it was like the first play. He just broke away, and I was like, oh, gosh. <laughs> I felt like it was going to be a long day. Just 
Taylor right side, big hole, 40, 45, over on the far sideline, 40. He is so quick. He's so quick. Out of bounds. He's so as quick. hard to tackle as Derrick Henry is. Super big and can run through arm tackles. But he has 4-3 speed, it's crazy. Once he gets to the second level, he's gone. And that, we definitely saw that firsthand. Like, I think, like, the first play, we didn't expect him to be, just shoot that gap as fast as he did, and he did. Hands off to Taylor, right side, full head of steam, lowers his shoulder, he's down to the two-yard line. Quentin Nelson pushing him towards the goal line, and he's in there! You know, I got... Now, I'm not, I'm no Einstein, right? I'm no Stephen Hawking, but I'm, I'm led to believe that speed equals power. You know what I mean? At least to a level. And look, if you've got that kind of speed running at holes, with, you know, arm tackles, as they say. They're, they're just not going to work. He's just going to absolutely blast right through them. i got to play him twice a year. <laughs> to do what he's doing now, to having those explosive runs every game, is just, it's just crazy. Ooh. He's a stud. You know, he can do it all. He's super fast. Bit of explosive. a stop and go. I'm not sure about his, his stiff arm. I'm not sure if his, I'm not quite sure if his stiff arm's going to be at the level of Derek Henry, but his, his ability, well, is it unmatched in the league? Oh, pfft. Could well be. Doesn't go down on first contact. They give it to Taylor on a draw, and he is hit, and Taylor spins off. Basically Saquon, isn't it? It's Saquon a year later. We need Saquon to be healthy for an entire year, and then we'll see. Then we'll see who's the top running back. That's all I'm going to say. The run. He's at the 35, the 40, 45, 50, inside Jacksonville territory. Absolutely so quick. great play by Jonathan. They have it stuffed. That's MVP category right there. So Jonathan Taylor, he became my favorite kind of fan. You can't give him an opening or else he's going to take it. I mean, there was a couple points in that game where we think we got him bottled up and he kind of just slips and slides and, and, and makes it through. He almost got through on, on a touchdown run like near the red zone, just kind of cut using, his, using the field, cutting back, making it to oh! short of the, of the end zone. I think this year what you're really seeing them is, you know, really good patience through the whole letting it open up. I really felt like slowing that, that down, but I... I won't. I mean, there was a lot of footwork there. There was a lot to uh, sort of um, unpack, but uh, maybe next time. And then hitting it. Jonathan Taylor, big oh, he hits there. it all right. 50, 40, 30. The year he had this year, He's he got a down. clinical running style too. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to know what he ran a 100-meter dash in. And in fact, just before we finish, let's, let's just check that. I feel like I've seen it before, but let's see it again. He was an accomplished performer in track and field in his early years. He won two state titles in the 100 meter dash, the best time being 10.49 seconds. Now that is at high school. 10.49 in high school. Is he a 10-2 guy? Is he faster than DK Metcalf? I think the best back in football. His explosiveness to get to top speed, he follows his blocks. Uh, he is, he's a hell of a player. That's one thing I can say that he got better at. You know, his, his vision got better, his cuts got better, and he's just working on his game 24-7. And that's why he's, you know, got a, the Russian title. And, you know, hopefully for the years to come, they continue to have that. I reckon he's going to be in yeah, with a pretty good chance to, to do that, Darius. Or should I say uh, Shaquille. Either ways, guys, that was fun. In the next one, I did see it before. We will confirm Cooper Cup. That time he, he had it. There he is, Cooper Cup, number four on the list. Receiving yards leader, Super Bowl winner, Super Bowl MVP. The list goes on. Cooper Cup, you're next, mate. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Head down into the description box below to check out various ways you can support the channel. This is fun for me, but it is a mission. And at the end of the day, a like goes a hell of a long way. So like the video if you have enjoyed it. Um, and uh, yeah. What else is there to say? Cooper Cup. Let's go. See you soon, guys, and peace out.